I'd like to welcome you back to Washington Heritage Museums. We recently reopened our museums with some very important changes. You'll note that I'm wearing a mask and masks are required for both our staff and for our guests. We also have been cleaning uh, the doors, any high touch surfaces. We have unfortunately suspended any um, items that we pass to our guests, uh, but that's for your protection. You'll still be able to see them, just not be able to handle them. We also have much smaller tour sizes, and so we do ask that you buy your tickets ahead of time as well. And you can do that at WashingtonHeritageMuseums.org slash visit. And at, other than that, um, if you get here and a tour is in progress, then we invite you to enjoy your wait in the gardens. Uh, they are lovely every season of the year, but especially in the fall and spring. And with that, we'd like to welcome you inside. Good day, my name is Michelle Hamilton, manager of the Mary Washington House, and we are thrilled to be open again. There has been some to, uh, changes. You can get your tickets online. And also for safety, we're doing one-way touring. So guests will be going one direction. The spots are marked, so everyone is socially distant. Uh, on the floor, we're keeping the, the tour group limited to about five people so that everyone can enjoy their tour in safety through the house, although so actually be exiting this room into our lovely museum gift store. But this is one of my favorite spots in the house. This is Mary's original two room cottage. Now it's one room, but in Mary's lifetime, it was actually two rooms. And one of the pieces we're most proud about in our collection is this lovely print here. It's called the Nymphs Bathing. It was donated to the Mary Washington House in 1900, the year the Mary Washington House opened for tours, and it actually belonged to George Washington. So please come visit us, learn more about Mary Washington, 18th century Fredericksburg, and the Washington family. Hello, I am Allison Hodges, and welcome to Hugh Mercer's Apothecary Shop Museum, where we discuss colonial medicines and medical practices during the 18th century. On the tour, you will see several actual colonial artifacts, such as this bottle from 1720 to 1730. Because of COVID, we are practicing social distancing. All guests stand behind this rope, and we only allow either four individuals or a family group up to six. Normally, we pass the medications around for people to look at or smell. We are not doing that anymore. In this room of the tour, we focus on herbs and remedies that would have been common during the colonial period, such as pennyroyal over here, and also lavender. It's just a small sample of what you will see if you visit our museum. When you visit, you may note this sign on the door. It means we currently have a tour in progress. If you'll wait in our beautiful gardens, then we will come and get you as soon as we are able. Hi, I'm Daniel Hawkins. I'm the site manager or tavern keeper of the Rising Sun Tavern Museum here in downtown Fredericksburg. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna show you a bit of our museum and tell you about how we're doing things differently these days. So follow me. So right now we're inside the banquet hall. This is one of the first rooms you'll see when you come into the tavern. Uh, this building that we're in was constructed in the early 1760s. And before it was a tavern, it was originally built as the private home for Charles Washington and his family. Charles Washington was the youngest brother of George Washington. So when you come in for a tour, we're gonna to tell you a little bit about his life and the things uh, that he did when he built this house. Now we became a tavern a little bit after in the early 1790s and operated as a tavern for a few decades. So when you take a tour, we'll tell you a bit about this building, what it would have been like at that time and why taverns were so important in the 18th and early 19th centuries in Fredericksburg and other places. Again, we look forward to welcoming you back to our museums. Just a reminder, please wear a mask. You can buy your tickets ahead of time and we encourage that. Tours are each half hour between noon and four, Friday through Monday. Because of our size, we are restricted to small groups. If you have a larger one, please call ahead of time and we'll see how we can accommodate you. And we look forward to greeting you for a tour again soon.